Corvax is a very interesting frame based on, they said cement, but it's more stone based and his abilities work really well together even if he kind of lacks a mastery level which is straight up weird for a frame that you can't build until after you complete the Whispers in the Walls quest, which means completing basically everything before you can get to this quest. No mastery level. His parts are available, of course. You don't have to buy them. You can get them from the Caviar Syndicate by just kind of doing the bounties. Bounty 1, the easiest one, has his Neuroptics. The second one would have the chassis and the third one having the systems that would be the fourth one that would be the fifth one they go up in difficulty as you progress through them so the first three are what have his parts so you can actually drop his parts instead of buying them or you can buy the parts if you want to and they're not exactly cheap it's 20,000 standing for each part and the blueprint is 50,000 if you want to go that way but you will need the entrotti Obels, the Necrocoils, the Stella, and the Entrati Lanthorns? Lanthorns? If you do want to build them. Oh, and four Argon Crystals. That doesn't use Argon Crystals, it uses a combination of both, but the systems and the chassis do. Yes, it may have been two months, seeing as it's the 17th of February right now, but uh, Corvex has survivability as he provides crowd control? Really? With only a dash and a depolarity, I would highly suggest put a V in him, build him more towards duration and range than power strength, but you still do need power strength. Uh, another V polarity in there will do wonders. Umbra Forma if you have it, of course. And don't forget to Aura Forma this thing. People are kind of skipping that one a lot. I have two Forma in him, and um, yeah, dash, D, nothing else. But his abilities actually do go ridiculously well together. You can summon a pillar that pulses radiation, uh, damages with a guaranteed status effect to any enemy within the radius. You can put down two of these, even though it doesn't say you can only put down two. Probably a way of putting down more, I don't know, I've never seen anybody use more than two though. His second ability, Containment Wall. This thing, yeah. Contain the threat is how they actually put it. He summons walls that slam together, damaging all enemies caught between them with, and at this point you can probably have guessed what it was, radiation damage. Not just that, but hitting the the pillar, which has a really weird name and I cannot remember what it is offhand, will make it pulse faster, which means his abilities work really, really well together, which they do. And this... It has a nice range, it does a nice amount of damage, it does a nice amount of damage over time as well. But it's the the weird part of this one was the damage vulnerability is 25%. But his third ability, the Disometric God that summons all of the things around you, it guards yourself and nearby allies against status effects. Oh yes. And each time he gets a kill or an assist, um, in killing an enemy affected by radiation damage, should throw that one in there, the number of status effects <laughs> dismissed, dim, this god can take down, can prevent, increases. That's what the number kind of is in the top right. It also is demonstrated by how many of the things go fly around you. The disometric gods that fly around you get kills with enemies that are affected by radiation and you get more of them. It actually kind of works really well and the fact that it also works on allies is great. Probably one of his only abilities that hitting the pillar doesn't increase the amount of times that the pillar pulses. But hitting the Chirinka pillar or whatever that thing is actually called with his fourth ability, the Crucible Blast, yeah, this is basically a, a beam of radiation and every enemy struck by it is affected by radiation with a guaranteed status effect yet again. Enemies affected by it explode in a chain reaction 
which I really liked about this, the only thing I didn't like about it was the, the length of time the beam is on for. It is a very short-lived beam. Unlike Wisp's Solar Blast thing, this is very short, but it is worth using. Hitting the pillars with it actually caused the the pulses from the pillar to increase. There was supposed to be another perk to them, but uh, yeah, whether that actually works or not is down to the player's own concept of reality, because sometimes it works and the pulse will increase, and sometimes it kind of absorbs the entire blast. It's a very... Those pillars, the great... But they're also not because they deal radiation, and radiation makes the enemies attack each other. And they just seem to be ignoring radiation these days. Outside of his abilities, his passive is actually quite useful as well. Weapons that he wields have an additional plus three punch through. He basically reinforces any weapon that is in his hands with an insane amount of punch through. That is a very useful passive considering it's basically on constantly making this frame very overlooked on your daily running around use of frames up until about level 100 he basically smashes and demolishes pretty much anything that takes a running jump at him he can mesh his abilities together insanely well which makes him one of those frames that ah uh, to be fair I don't like his looks. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Not a big fan. Deluxe skin in the future may solve this problem. I also have something else that's haunting me because I can't end this video the way I would like to. Mainly because I'm still using him quite a bit. He is really useful at annihilating all the enemies because his survivability is a bit uh, nuts. He has an armor of 875. Before mods? Yeah, been overkill. And the best part is he has a huge amount of armor and they haven't destroyed his sprint speed, which is what they usually do with frames that have a high amount of armor. At some point, they really do need to go back and take a look at Frost and roll. Well, maybe he should run just that tiny little bit faster. It's amazing how many people still, still turn around and ask how I beat their vault to the end of a mission using a Frost because Frost don't run that quick. Well, mine does. But just increase it just a tiny little bit. He doesn't have this problem. Yes, they did slow him down a little bit. It's a 0 0.9 on his sprint speed. But it doesn't really matter when um, you kind of use your containment wall and anything around you goes away anyway. So you can go as slow as you want because you're just going to smash everybody to pieces with the wall. Anybody that doesn't, you can just crucible blast them in the face, and as long as you can hit a few enemies with that, when they actually die and they uh, explode in a chain reaction, because this this ability deals radiation, and any enemy that is affected by radiation uh, explodes in a chain reaction when hit by this, yeah. His abilities work really well together, making him one of those frames that doesn't look the best, but works ridiculously well. For survivability, taking down enemies, he's kind of a great all-rounder, especially when you throw in the disometric god that can prevent elemental damage of any kind from actually hitting you. So, so support frame, damaging frame, defensive frame, because technically his uh, Kyrinka pillars or whatever they're actually called, they can technically be used as a defensive measure to irradiate any enemies that are coming towards a target and make them fight each other, which is what radiation does. It will make enemies attack each other, which makes him great for defense, great for survivability, Technically, a great all-rounder. Can't wait to see what Tenogen does to solve the only real gripe I have about him. But then again, I don't tend to pay that much attention to how the frames look anyway. Never been a big fashion frame type person anyway. He just... that helmet gets in the way quite a bit.
His subsumed ability for Helminth is, of course, the Pillars. It was kind of weird seeing this. The Pillars is the ability they decided, but at the same time, it kind of makes sense. Which means there's only one less thing left to do. And with that, we'll leave this off here. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.